Hello, where are we? We are in the middle of the Samsung booth at CES in the Central Hall. Okay, what's your name? My name is Tyler Hall. Okay. I'm with SmartThings. And what can you tell us from SmartThings as far as it becomes part of Samsung now? Yes, so not much has changed. We've uh, just got some resources that we didn't have before. They, they promised when they acquired us back in August that... So, that so you, you came from, some, some, from SmartThings, not from yes, Samsung? Yes, correct. You got it. Okay. Yeah, you'll see. Right here, all, all over here, all of us came uh, from SmartThings. Can, can you put together? <laughs> Give us... Yeah. So, say all together, <laughs> SmartThings. SmartThings. <laughs> SmartThings, we hate Samsung. <laughs> so this so, is where the interview ends now. <laughs> so, so the point, things, nothing changed. You are continuing yeah, developing. Absolutely. They've been uh, great partners. So and, this is the new hub. Yep, this is the new hub, this is the V2 version of it. So the things that are changed from the current generation, if you come around to the back, you can see that there's uh, USB ports on the back of it. It allows for some extensibility. Yeah, you kind of tilt up a little bit, there you go. Um, we've got battery backup inside of the hub, so if it gets disconnected from power or disconnected from internet, there's actually local processing of events now. So if you're, if you're uh, say the, the internet went out, just temporarily, it's going to continue to turn on the lights in your house. Okay. And uh, so the three devices, this one, the SmartSense Presence, and the SmartSense Multi are all our new generation micro sensors. You'll see they're much smaller than the current generation. And are Zigbee. They are Zigbee devices, you got it. Okay, and, and the, these? That is the Smart Power Outlet, which uh, is just a control controllable outlet, and the SmartSense Moisture that will detect. And if those are Zigbee. These are all uh, Zigbee as well. Zigbee. Yes. The hub has. You have more ecosystem here. I'm sorry. Yeah. So if you uh, if you were to wander around to the back side of that video screen over there, you see all the But well, a priori, any Zigbee device would be compatible. Any Zigbee device would be yes, compatible. Yes, a lot of Zigbee uh, devices. And any device with an API would be compatible. Yes, we have in cloud to cloud some, integrations, some, LAN integrations, Z waves, or, Zigbee, uh, or IFTT integration yes, or whatever, and with, with a receive or whatever. You've got it. And this has Bluetooth low energy, the new version of also has. Bluetooth that. low energy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, and when, when this will be available? April. April. April of this and year. Can you tell us your plans for Europe? <laughs> I have nothing to tell you. I know where, that we're working on it. Where, where is Europe? <laughs> <laughs> <That one? laughs> what is Europe? 